going. One second. One second here. Yep, that's the right window. There we are. Gonna pick up where I left off yesterday. Twitch dashboard. Nightbot. Get everything up back up and running. Yep, yep. Stream title is good. I continued starting to get ready to continue to prepare stockfish coding and testing. Yep, there's me. That's an echo of me. Um, okay. Uh, let's get Nightbot in here. Sit, Nightbot. Alright. Alrighty. It usually takes about five to ten minutes for people to wander in. Sometimes fifteen. I don't think very many people will be wandering into this stream, but you never know. Um, I just really want to get this done. I've been putting a lot of effort into it. Um, my most recent achievement was, um, well, I registered with the Google CAPTCHA service, and so theoretically, um, and I have yet to test any of this, but I should see a CAPTCHA form, and it should all work. Um, I'm as skeptical as can possibly be, but, you know, it might work. Let's give it a try anyhow. Alright, so, let's change user to Leela. Um, let's see, cd into Leela, get branch list, um, get check out master. Okay, and if I take a look at, <laughs> how do I test this without Hmm. Okay. Grep L. Uh. Uh. Okay. So I think this shows me. Yeah, yeah. I have defined that inside my configuration file. Uh get pull, update everything, that's cool. Um, oh, that's right, application.conf isn't under the control of the project. So I can change it willy-nilly and not encounter conflicts. It's the only file under Leela I can change without there being any consequence. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's pull in updates. Uh, oh, will get status tell me if I have any updates? Uh, public Staunton has been deleted. Uh, I don't think that was intentional. So... Uh... Okay, I can read this. So yeah, Staunton's back. Um, it appears there aren't any remote repositories needing to be updated, but... You know, I have no idea. So let's grab this, run it. Ah! Public Staunton is being updated. That's cool. That must have gotten interrupted somehow during the initial whatever. So now I can play with Staunton pieces. 
Ah, uh, Grandmasters would be so proud. Well, that might take a little bit, which means... There we go. We got a chessboard. Let me stick this in the upper right. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. That looks ugly. This looks obtrusive. Let's stick it... Um, that doesn't look so bad. Could look better if I were to crop things properly, but... Um, yeah, I don't like how that looks. I'm going to move it back here. Okay, OBS really wants me to align it to the edge. That's all cool. You know, one day it'd be awesome if I could get that miniature chessboard to show any game of my choice. Not just the Lee Chess featured game. It is on my wish list of things to do and or develop, but it's really far down. Um, I have much higher priority things to focus about on. Um, okay. So am I missing anything? Hmm. I guess once this is done, I'll need to recompile dependencies. And then once that's done, um, try doing some testing. Chess Pursuit? What's changed in Chess Pursuit? Or just have I not previously downloaded that? It seems kind of crazy if I've missed out on Chess Pursuit. Oh, okay. Everything's checked out. Cool. So next... Um, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, what the heck. Let's run all that. Build the UI stuff.
Okay, that's done. And supposing this fails, I can always go back to my branch of the code, which doesn't have the CAPTCHA. Um, but you know, this seems so cool, I just can't resist. So I'm going to give it a try. Let's see. This leech us is down. Is there a way I can hide this bar altogether? Yeah, we don't need the bar. We're gonna raise the bar. Oh, that's. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's gonna mess up any of my capture stuff. Um. But you know, I do need to come back in a different resolution, so. Um, so I can capture the Leech S experience. Um, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Let me just put this somewhere else so it doesn't get captured. Yeah, we could just focus on the terminal. Um, Let's go terminal and stuff. Um, so while that's all going and compiling, and you guys can see it compile better than I can. Um, okay, so it did compile. Um, so let's register. Hey, that's cool. Uh, so what am I running into now? I still need to do a UI build. Because um, I'm missing all my UI components. Although I did a UI build. So what gives? Why do I not see any assets? Um... For example, one of these asset. Oh, <laughs> my configuration file is mistaken. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'll be right back because there's private stuff in my configuration file. Um, don't feel like exposing that right now. So one second. We'll be right back. Nobody panic. Bloop. Um, yeah, so this is the part where I change the configuration, uh, okay, uh, just to show you the file that I changed, whoops, apparently I need to, uh, have OBS figure out where my window's at. There it is. The name of the file I changed? Application.conf. It's really creative, right? Um, anyhow, we're going to try running that again. I should really make Application.conf extend another, uh, some other file where I can put the actual passwords and things. They tell me never, ever, ever edit base.conf, but um, I would actually prefer to edit the base configuration. Um, it's just a lot easier that way. But you know, if this works, and if it, all the security stuff works, I might expose um, my DNS name. 
and you could all uh, have a sh crack at it too. I just want to make sure that things are set up properly and secured first before I open the floodgates. Because once I go there, it's kind of hard to go back. Um, so... Come on! Just load already. Hopefully I've got the right Mongo installed and it won't crap out on me again, but... Um, Either way, I'm making progress. Oh yeah, the other thing is I don't want to expose my email and all that stuff on stream, too. Um, I mean, I know it's a well-defended email address, and that spam really doesn't have a place in it. Uh, let's try. Alright, select all images with palm trees. Man, those really look like palm trees to me. Register. Oh! Okay. Apparently, I successfully registered my account last time and didn't know it. Check my email. LOL. Uh, Mailgun's not installed and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, just FYI. Um, Okay. Well, here's the part where we do some magic. So, uh, Mongo Leeches. Leeches is the database name. Don't wear it out. Uh, okay, we can restart Steam. That's okay. Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh, I, I'm already using Leeches, though. Show collections. I mean, this looks different than what I'm familiar with. Let's try Mongo. Okay, use Leeches. Um. Ah! <laughs> Uh, we'll see. I, I'm already hesitant about this because I don't know what kind of private... St well, of course, it's going to reveal all my private stuff. Um, just trust me. I'm going through here. User for... Dot... Query? No. Leechus.user for... Dot query. User for... How is user4 not defined? Um, Alright, so... Mongo, select from table, from collection, from whatever. Oh, it's called find. db.collection.find. Where db is the database, collection is the collection name, find is the find function, and query projection... Oh, this is optional. Okay. Um, so I don't need to specify an empty document. It's perfectly fine for me to just say leechess.user4 or, I'm sorry, maybe it's db.user4.5 Okie dokie. Yep, and it says must confirm email. And there it is with my email address and everything, which is why I'm not putting that on stream at the moment. Um, so I have to figure out yeah I guess I do want to disable requiring of email um, uh, da, da. db collection remove column I don't know Remove, I think, removes an entire record. Um, yeah, whatever. OK. 
Okay, we'll clear page that off the screen. And we'll see. Um, rep R must confirm email stuff. Okay. Vim, this thing must confirm. Oh, wait, what am I looking at here? Okay, that just gets the value of must confirm email. Um, one of these, I guess it must be user repository, determines whether I actually need to confirm the email. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> uh, this is a function. Oh. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, let's find this and search everything for it. Um, I'll take a look at api.scale. Else? Oh, here's the deal. So instead of saying case true this, case false that, just say case any. Um, sure, whatever. Generate a session ID. Um, so we've almost finished starting to prepare to continue to start development. Um, it's progress. And we're only 22 minutes into the stream. Oh, let me adjust the position of this board. That would be something positive I could do here. That's not a board. Where's the board? Here we are. Move the board. There we go. It looks pretty. Uh, Alright. Let me again attempt to log in. You know, I could set up a mail server. It would be a pain and a half to get it working. But it would be doable. Definitely an option. But let's not go there just yet. Uh, I do wonder if it's my move in any of my... Um, uh, what's that? Chess 2 games. I do have to uh, get back to that at some point. Alright, so... Yep, let's log in. Okay, we got error message 83. <whistles> Probably means I have the wrong version of something. We're gonna go with that. Um, Mongo version. Mongo DB shell version. Mongo DB dot version. DB dot version. That's 249. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's not the version they recommend. Uh, this requires Mongo. Uh, where does it say what version? 2.611 is reported to work. Okay. So this, 
I don't even remember how much of this I got into earlier. But I was saying that I might have more than one Mongo installed on the system. Uh, let's find out. Uh, bin, Mongo. Grip. Oops. Uh, yeah, grip. Mongo. Let's see, there's just one Mongo on there. Uh, and just one Mongo there. Somehow it's the wrong one. Um, meaning. I installed the wrong Mongo. How did I do that? How, how am I installing the wrong thing? Okay. What's Tengen? Tengen repository package installation. Tengen mono go db monitoring system. Uh, just add that before any Mongo recipe. And okay. Uh, let's see, is there a chef recipe reinstall? I mean, this is really pushing it, because normally with chef, you just use that to create an entirely system, an entirely new system. Vagrant chef reinstall. Yeah, I want to undo an installation and redo it. Uh. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so this tells me squat. As far as I'm reading it. I don't understand it. I'm sure it's informative in some way. Um, I might want to do this. Wait, no, that's a chef installation. I want... Uh, there's so many pieces to this freaking puzzle. Um, chef's already installed. I want to use chef to reinstall from a recipe uh, but I don't know how to remove the database prior to doing that. Or rather, I suspect that my attempts to remove it are going to cause havoc. But I appear not to have a choice. Uh, sudo apt get remove mongo something. Uh, what else might I want to remove? Mongo, Mongo this, Mongo that. Okay, we gotta remove all the Mongo stuff. Okay, there goes my Leech's username and password. And now we're gonna Vagrant Provision to reinstall MongoDB. Hopefully it gets the right version this time. Last time I tried installing on top of an existing version, and I suspect that's what caused the problem. I think this time it's successfully completely uninstalled MongoDB. Um, and I think I'm starting completely fresh here. If not, anyhow, I've learned that um, my CAPTCHA works. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Let's see, what's new in the world today? 
By that, I mean, have they released that statement yet? They've been saying, hey, look, we're going to make a big statement about, um, uh, about the state of what their server's at. Um, Oh, huh. Well, that's not the thing that I was looking for news-wise. It is news, but not something that I choose to report here, because there's really no good way to address the subject. Um. So, when's MongoDB going to get installed? Recipe. Okay, so apparently it tried to install all that stuff. That's cool. I do hope that works. If that fails to work, I'll have to go back in and <sighs> fix stuff the difficult way. Namely, restart again from scratch. You know, maybe, just maybe, I ought to allocate four cores to this machine. It seems kind of dumb, but Given how much time it's taking me to get this installed, at least during the installation phase, while I keep going through these steps again and again and again, four cores might not be a bad idea. Um, so, to keep us all entertained, and because I still have to go check this out, uh, we're going to do some, another game here. So, one second. I'm going to interrupt our normal program and see, do I have a move? I'm willing to wager that I've got to move in one of these games. Yep, it's my move. Alright, he takes my pawn. I can choose to... Wait, what? This puts him in check. This is unwise on his part. Oh, nice! Alright, he was trying to bluff me. Okay. I hate it when the game goes completely crazy like that. Alright, so I cannot destroy these pieces here. Um, oh, he's providing cover for his king to march forward. That's quite clever. Um, I feel that I am a bit outmatched here. Just on so many fronts, I appear to be getting clobbered. Um, so do I expose my bishop to his bishop? Or do I move my knight there? Ordinarily, a chess player would bring out their knight. I mean, that, that would develop an additional piece here. But I suspect if I move my bishop, they'll just play bishop takes bishop. Uh, I'll get to do king forward and threaten king there, king b4 winning. Um... 
Yeah, so I think that's a tough call either way. Moving the bishop forces him to react, because otherwise I just pounce on his bishop for free. Uh, and what's my bishop going to do? Yeah, let's get this moving forward. I wish I could turn off the music so you guys could hear just me. In fact, I could mute that. Um, one second. One second. Okay, so that's less annoying for me. But I do also wish that I could mute that so you don't hear it um, in the replay. Because I know that that's probably copyrighted music, so I just have to keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talk some more so that, like, I don't get, I don't know, blocked or whatever. Um, don't want to violate copyright and stuff. Yep, so we're going to play French. Because, you know, I just play the French all the time. No, but that's a special queen. It's immune to capture. I cannot capture it. Um, don't blame me. I don't make up those rules. Um, Alright, let's get the correct window. There we go. Yep, it's still building dependence. Oh, never mind. Wait, yeah, now it's doing um, the project itself. Since all the dependencies that were updated have been built. And I think that just means the Staunton piece set. I don't think there's anything complicated about that. It just took some time. Um. So... Oh, let me get my chess board back in the, in the stream. Here it is. There are your champions dueling it out. Unless, of course, I can't see the board. There we go. That's better. Um. Okie dokie. Is it done compiling yet? Nope. How about now? Still going. Um, but you know, once that's done compiling, I'll get to try to create my username again. Android app for Chess 960. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why do people hate over the London opening? That's a legit opening. It's just less ambitious than others. Um,
Yeah, people will hate over the London opening because it's just decently good. It's hard for opponents to mess it up. Uh, and it's just the battle that never ever ends. What else is new in the world? Yeah, let me check out that new Leech Us Insights feature. Um, Don't know what this leech us luck thing is about. Luck is pretty cool, but I just don't understand it. Luck is how often your opponent fails to punish your blunders. Okay, I can understand that. I wonder what my luck level is. Um, let's see. Okay, so my opponents miss out, they miss my blunders about 30% of the time. Um, pretty consistently across all variants. Hey, wait a second. It just occurred to me that this measures both opportunism and luck. Okay, so my opponent's luck, uh, or I get lucky about 30% of the time against my opponents. I'm opportunistic. Uh, uh, except in Bullet, I'm opportunistic over 70% of the time. So I'm actually coming out ahead. Um, I mean, I think opportunism should also be counted as a form of luck if you're going to count luck as luck. I don't know. But, yeah, luck is a good word. There's nothing wrong with it, but I am more opportunistic than my opponents are. That's a really good measure. Um, it'd be really cool to see, like, what's the delta between your opportunism and your opponents. Like, could you get both luck and opportunism to show in the same graph? That would be cool. Uh, maybe with the future version of the Insights Engine. Maybe. Uh, okay. What else can I... What does this measure? It measures material imbalance. Um... <laughs> Okay, what do I make of this? So in bullet, material imbalance, it says I'm minus 0.3. I guess... Oh. So yeah, in bullet, I'm generally behind on material with respect to my opponent. Um, in anti-chess, I'm generally way behind. Although I think that's a good thing. Um, that's funny. Hmm. Huh. In a horde, apparently I'm generally a pawn ahead. 
that seems really weird. But okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I guess this is saying that almost all the time I'm just way behind my opponents. Um, I'm almost always in the red. Or just on average I'm in the red. That's quite good. And probably accurate. Um, let's see, what else? What else can I measure? Okay, material imbalance versus opponent's strength. Um, let's just look at Blitz. Okay, against weaker opponents, I'm generally ahead. Against everybody else, I'm generally behind. <laughs> Even weaker and similar strength opponents, I'm almost always behind, uh, material-wise. I guess that just means that I live on the edge more than my opponents do. But yeah, I mean to get more interesting statistics for that sort of thing. Um, so, Vagrant, SSH, uh, Mongo version, this is just the client version, so let's not freak out yet, uh, okay, PSAF Grep Mongo, uh, Locate MongoD. Okay, MongoDB is installed. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. sudo apt get install MongoDB clients. Because why not? Um, Mongo version 249 Mongo. Oh. That's disappointing. Uh, sudo service mongo db start. Okay. Why is my Mongo not Mongoing? Stop. Start. I mean, there's got to be a, an explanation for everything, right? Start server. Alrighty. Um, command's got to be start server, right? Case one in start. Log starting. Apparently already running. Da 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 da. Stop, whatever, whatever. So, I mean, why am I not seeing the word starting when I try to start it? I do not understand. Pseudo app. I don't even know. Pseudo update DB. Locate Mongo D. Locate bin Mongo D. Grep Mongo D. Whoops. Mongo DB. Okay. Uh, 
What is this file anyway? Yeah, now that's a directory. So what this is telling me is that uh, the recipe which is supposed to install MongoDB didn't do it. And this was the only thing I was interested in having reinstalled and did not reinstall. Um, okay, well that's probably for the better anyway. Because there was something I needed to configure here if I could only remember what it was. Need to configure the Mongos. I don't want a sharded collection. I just want some kind of collection, something or other. Um, really don't care about all the fancy stuff. I just want one that works. Uh, single instance. Include recipe MongoDB default. Uh, Mongo instance. MongoDB. I probably want to call this Mongo instance leeches. Uh, whatever. So. Uh, let's take a look at the recipe. Chef, cookbooks, leeches, recipes. Let's uh, hang on. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't need that revert there anymore. Although I am curious. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Just gotta install all those. Gotta install gulp. Um, but in addition to all this, I do need to install Mongo. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this is possibly something that is of higher priority. I think that's all I have to do. Yeah, I did use that right. I've got the right port number, DB path, blah blah blah. Uh, I could specify some other parameters, such as... Well, I could require authentication. I should do that. Anyway. I figured out why I didn't install MongoDB. It's because I didn't ask for it to be installed. Um, so, clear vagrant provision. Go, go, go. Please don't give me error messages. Okay, that was way too fast. I have no idea what just happened. Scroll up. Java's. Okay, it's so downloading everything that we might need. Then, following the download, it'll start installing stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, that all looks reasonable. Uh, okay, so I thought this is where it said like it was going to install MongoDB and stuff. And we've already gotten past installing it, right? Wait, what's this?
Okay, they must have something for starting and stopping MongoDB. Um, but I didn't actually see it install. Where's the Mongo install thing? Okay. Is there really that little to log about it? Uh, I have to get MongoDB action add. Uh, let's see, default Mongo create, MongoDB.conf create, var log Mongo, slash data, uh, slash data is probably the wrong path given the file systems that I'm familiar with. I should look at, maybe it needs to be under var data or something. Just to be compliant with um, Unix file system guidelines. All right, has anybody shown up? Nope, it's just me. Nightbot and me. You know what that means. It means it's time to pick a winner. Oh yeah. I am a winner. Okay, so... Yeah, what do I do while waiting? Um, well, I suppose I could play some chess. We all know which way that's going to go. Once you start with the chess, you can't go back because then everybody leaves. Um, so, well, who knows when I'm going to get this done. Um, so let's log in, leech us. Oh, I'm already logged in. No need to log in twice. Alright. Ah, what's new on leech us? What's new today? Yeah, looks like nothing too exciting in the forums. Um, I wonder if there's been an update in, pardon me, in my team's forum. In particular, nope, we just got week seven um, report and standings. So like the one week I win a game, yeah. Well, at least I'm still hanging out in 12th. That's cool. I'll eventually catch up with Zug Addict. Eventually. Um, it's still going. Yeah, let's start a game. 3 2. versus good old friend Anonymous. Yep, yep, yep. I'm having so much fun. Having all the fun. Yeah, we got a rematch offer on the table, guys. Uh. All right. Let's see if he knows what to do against this one. I think I've caught him off guard. <laughs> well, okay, that might not work so well. <laughs> I'm 
Let's see, is it done compiling just yet? Probably not. Oh, that was fun. In a way. Yep. Definitely some games of the century happened right there. It's still compiling. Alright. Uh, <laughs> that's a good position. Uh, sure. Queen odds. That seems a bit unfair. Alright. Um... Level 1, here we go. Oh, I forgot, it avoids making 1 at all costs. So I'm going to have to beat it through some skullduggery. Um, namely a mate in 2. Take that. Don't take my queen. Thank you. Don't take my anything. Oh, it's mate. Yeah. Alright, so I beat it at level one. Play some atomic. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I guess we'll play some atomic. One half with a one second increment. Here we go. This is the only way to play Atomic. Um, assuming you actually know the openings, which I don't. So I'm pretty much doomed to suffer uh, at the hands of Anonymous here. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is good. Uh, perhaps I assume too much. Okay, let's back up. Okay, boom! So I got stuff and stuff and... Oh, right, this, he's actually attacking stuff too. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Other than Atomic is confusing. GG! <laughs> um, no, I'm totally completely uh, scrooged here. Alright, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Please tell me it's done yet. It's not. Um, okay, let's seek another game. You know what's more fun? Let's commentate on people doing the boom boom. Alright, so that's gonna go boom. If the knight goes there, this goes boom. Although that's not so wise, actually. So maybe this is, in fact, on the table. Because white can't boom the boom just yet. Yeah. So, if white booms the boom, then this goes there, and this blocks, and who knows. 
Is it done yet? Oh, still going. Uh, also, we don't need the little board in the corner. We've got enough entertainment here. Um, okay, so this proactively... Um, or what's the word? Prophylactically deals with the whole Bishop B4 idea. And now white's actually threatening to take the knight and black doesn't really have a retort. Um, I guess moving the knight back wasn't an option either because that would still lose the knight. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is probably the lesser of all the evils for black, but he's in trouble? Maybe? I don't know. Please tell me it's done. It's not. Um, okay, so either white mouse slipped, or he just chose that, you know, he doesn't need a knight. Who needs knights anyway? I'm pretty sure that's a mouse slip. I'm struggling to imagine why white would do that on purpose. Unless he's saying that it's just going to make his king safer somehow to do it. I mean, I guess the knight's not going anywhere, but I don't get it. White well, still has to develop his queen side, and yeah, okay, we'll switch to this game. We're Grand Champ. That was a provisional rating of 2084. This is going to show us how to play this game. Or not. Okay. So, yep, white's knight on e5 is attacked, as is black's bishop on g4. Um, I know a good many times f3 does make sense in atomic. Alright, now we're going to watch a game between Podate and Anonymous. You know, rather than watching a 2000 play and perhaps show something convincing, um, we're going to watch this and see nothing. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I guess the knight on e5 might have been dead. Oh, Okay, thank goodness it took us back to this game. Uh, white sacking a queen? Oh, because he's gonna castle. Uh, yeah, that, that actually works. That's brilliant. Um, yeah. Uh, this is still brilliant, because black cannot take. If black takes, he loses his king. I don't know if queen takes queen is illegal. Like, if it prevents you from making the move, it probably should. Uh, because that puts you in check. But, I don't know. It's one of those things that I... Uh, in Stockfish, I had fun testing that sort of thing. I don't know if Lee Chess handles everything perfectly. I assume it does, but I don't know. Man, that explosion caught me off guard. I should take that explosion noise and make it into some sort of subscription or, I'm sorry, fo uh, some follow alert noise. It just goes kaboom! Every single time I get uh, a follower. I'm sure it would freak everybody out, which is kind of the point. I mean, why else would you have a follower alert? Because you're a narcissist or something? I mean, that could be a reason. Alright. Ah, there's our friend Dan Dan. Let's go, Dan Dan. Let's go. And 
black is stumped? Yeah, okay. That's good. It's all good. Honestly, a couple moves out of here is where my um, my book ends. Like, a couple moves after knight d4, I have very little idea what's going on. I think something about knight c3 and uh, one of the knights moves to b5 is supposed to be smart, but I don't understand any of it. I just play the moves. And I play them quickly and with confidence, because I know I don't have to play the right ones. Um, oh, did I get it to work? Not really. Um, uh, Lee Chess does work, however I'm using the wrong database, so I'm reinstalling the database yet again to see if it'll actually install the right one this time. Um, but yeah, I'm very close on that front. I just haven't gotten it um, to the point where I can log in yet. I have created a user account somehow, but um, oh, Baba's chest. That sounds cool. Somebody ought to write some JavaScript to make it. Well, that might be a bit graphic. Um, but otherwise, it'd be kind of cool, just from a physics and standpoint, just to show like what an explosion looks like. Honestly, though, yeah, I think I'm very close on the having a working Leeches instance front. And that's why I stream again. Um, not to just fill dead air, but actually because I think I'm pretty close. Oh, congrats to Dandan, Dan, by the way. One second, Dandan. Dan. Oh, yep, I'm still going. Still installing stuff. boost this a little bit. Let's see, what else do I want to do with my LHS instance? You know, other than Stockfish. Well, I did want to secure my database. But that's not necessary for day one, and it doesn't really show any new functionality. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what else I had planned. Um, how many of these? Okay, we do have two windows open there. Um, nope. Google, don't auto-maximize the window unless I ask you to do that. Okay. I'm going to go to GitHub and speak about the latest issue. Uh, which had something to do with the screen layout. Or has that issue been closed? What? What is this? What? Oh, okay, I get it, I get it.
Um, let's see, what else? This is the point that he had some discussion going on. Uh, let me just take a look at Leech Us again. Yeah. Let's see, what does this look like? Are there any new leech chest issues? Oh, it looks like Dan Dan is um, he's doing pretty well if I see this right. Uh, maybe I missed something. Yeah, okay, I missed something. Uh, still, he's doing pretty good. Especially on the clock, he's doing well here. There we go. He's got this one in the bag. GG. Oh, nice. Um, so let me log in. Uh, Mongo. Mongo Leeches. PSAF Grip Mongo. Okay, pseudo service mongo start. Okay, I appear not to have anything installed. Yeah, apparently MongoDB just is not installing. Regrettably, that means I'm going to have to do a couple additional steps here. Um, so we'll give attention back to Dan Dan's game there.
while I work my magic. Let's get this magic going. Nope. Oh. Well, great. So all my settings got overwritten. That's too bad. Uh, I think I understand why now. Uh, it's just a shame it took me so long to figure it out. Um, for not doing this on screen, but Dan Dan stuff is pretty interesting anyhow. Um, so... Yep, yep, yep. All I'm doing here is just installing some top secret stuff, you know, stuff you wouldn't care about. Um, let's see. Yeah, queen, <laughs> queen sacks um, tend to be decisive, but I guess queen explosions on the king in particular happen pretty often, as do knight ones. Um, so... Let me check my email. Okay. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Gmail kept Okay, accidentally did something I didn't intend to do, but that's cool. I should have searched for Google Captcha. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I've already got one of these. And. And. I want to know what are my secret stuff for this. Uh, keys. There we go. Site key and secret key. Again, it's good that I'm doing this not on the stream. There's my site key. There's my secret key. Hint. My secret key is just the number five. Unless it's something else. Um, so we'll sign out. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's not at all what I had intended. Just give me my email.
Okay, there's my email. Sign out. Okay. Um, yep. Application.com. Um, oh, okay. Now I even better understand how that works. Um, very good. Um, so, yep, I think. start the installation all over again. Uh, Vagrant up. Hang on. Uh, let's increase CPUs to four. Okay, vagrant up again. There we go. Uh, how's Leech STV doing? Oh, nobody's playing Atomic. Well, either that or something is. Nope. Definitely this is responsive, it's just nobody's playing that. So we'll switch to Horde. Everybody's favorite non-atomic thing. <laughs> Come for the chest, stay for the code. Although, um, yeah, at this point, coding is just me starting over, regenerating everything. Completely new virtual guest instance. Eventually... We'll get this complete installation procedure correct. Um, and I'll have mastered system administration. But, um, yeah, for now it's just going to take a while. Uh, it's too bad that uh, people who are playing this variant aren't higher rated. Um... <laughs> okay. And just have to wait. Hopefully I won't have to wait as long as previous streams, because I've amped up um, my guest machine from two cores to four. So hopefully it should complete twice as fast. I doubt it, but hopefully. If only it could multiplex the download. Like, download all the uh, dependency projects in parallel from all the various repositories. That'd be awesome. I gotta figure out how to do that, now that I think about it. Yeah, this is a good variant. Forever, um, Stockfish and I were of the opinion that... Um, black starts off better and after much uh, analysis uh, and observing stronger players play and competing against strong players uh, I've gained a respect for the horde and realized it really isn't so easy to de defeat that um, as easy as, like if you've seen my stream against Zug, we played this game, he completely locked up the queen side, well really we both did, and I munched all his pawns on the king side and then munched everything on the queen side and made it look really convincing that black is just always better. And throughout the game we couldn't find any tactical oversight, just that that st strategy just never worked. Um, and 
looking at a lot of really high-rated players play this, I see the importance, the essentiality of generating pawn chains. And the more pawns that protect pawns, and the further their reach extends and denies space to black, the better off white is. Um, but it's not about making, like, controlling the center for white, um, nor is it about controlling the flanks. It's about having a pawn chain that spans the entire diagonal of the board. Either going uh, bottom left to top right, or bottom right to top left, just moving in that general direction. One of those two directions, White needs to pick fairly early which one, but he needs to build the chain one direction or the other, not both. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure that the blockade works. Um, I think if one, if the White decides to build a pawn chain spanning the board and it's able to take a lot of space and then advances all of his rearmost pawns forward to support his advanced pawns um, black just gets uh, crushed um, but the key is that you build the pawn chains diagonally and that chains will give you enough leverage to break through any kind of barricade. Like, properly stopping the pawns is way more difficult than most players make it look. Um, he probably could have gotten away with bishop h3 there. I don't know. It's hard to call. Actually, bishop takes f3 would be superior. Um, but yeah, obviously black completely failed in blockading the pawns this game. Um, yep, just g4. Gotta run it. Or maybe a4. Maybe both. I don't know. I feel that black did not do a very good job blockading, although white lacked the courage to go forward. Actually, you should have played e6, exchanged for the bishop, and then started pushing on the king's side, although I guess he didn't have enough to overcome on the g4 square. But yeah, having an enormous pawn chain would help him support uh, queen side promotion. And he's unfortunately kind of split his moves, moving things on the king side and on the queen side. And really needs to play more decisively if he wants to get a pass pawn somewhere. Yeah, see how those pawns um, on a2, b3, c4, d5 make it really difficult for the black queen to move around on the light squares? If he had another pawn chain on like a3, b4, c5, d6, just two pawn chains going in parallel there, that would really cut off a lot of space for black. Um, unfortunately for white, this, uh, black really controls a lot of space here. So it should just play rook takes g3, I think. I think rook takes g3 is just awesome here. I guess black's trying to uh, force white to move forward or something. Maybe h2. h3 seems a little on the nose. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Now black's cut you in half, and it's over. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting way to play. Um... I don't know that I would have sacked on c7 like that. I guess it's okay. Yeah, no, black's fine here. And just take b4. Take b4. Yep. 
and take a4 and b6, or a5, b6. Simple, simple. Yep, and white resigns. Um, but yeah, once we get Stockfish going, uh, we can analyze games like that one. I hope. We'll see. Um, so where am I here? How far has my reinstallation gone? Gotten. Um, okay, so it's installing Java. Yeah, it's a vital step. It's got to happen sooner or later. Um, and now people are playing Atomic. Or not. Are we going to see a rematch? We see a rematch. G4. Well, I'm out of book. How about you? That's one I should study, though. It looks really fun. Right, show us why G4 is so convincing. Because I'm not understanding it. Knight takes knight. Maybe G4 is his way of getting a handicap. <laughs> H6? Oh, I don't know about... Well, I guess that's okay. Wow, this is scary for white. Uh, F3, maybe? Okay, but then there's knight g4. Um, I'm not liking this for white very much. I guess white's queen does develop quickly if black's not careful. But... Okay, yeah, the point of that is to stop Queen H5 shenanigans. Um, can we... okay. Now you gotta play like C6 or B5 or something to stop queenside tactics against your king? Yeah, I'm almost certain that 1G4 was White's way of offering a handicap. And we're not seeing Knight takes H2. Yeah, Knight takes H2, in my mind, made a lot of sense. Why would black not play that? Well, I guess developing the bishop is useful, but... Knight takes h2 just looked crushing. Um, because then black has an advanced h-pawn, and he just pushes it. And promotes it. And what's white gonna do? White needs to checkmate him before the pawn promotes, and that's not easy. You know, that's a good question, Railbird. Um, you'd really have to dig into the source code to figure it out. Um, I don't know when and when not it allows you to do analysis. Or why or why not. Uh, it's something I, I really haven't tried to do like Zug is proposed doing with editing how the boards work. I did recognize that a whole bunch of changes were made to how the boards work just today. Um, I don't even know if they've been deployed yet. But um, if they do work better, that'd be awesome. In fact, yeah, they couldn't have been deployed yet because earlier today we pulled down updates and only five files were updated. And I find it very hard to believe that so many changes um, were made just to five files. Um, so, yeah. But I think in the days or weeks to come, well, days really, uh, we'll see the new board and see what it looks like. And um, I mean, sure, it'll probably look the same, but it should function a lot better, I hope. Um, 
this done yet? Nope, it's still going. Even with four CPUs, we still have to download the files before we can compile things. Yeah, there will be some things where I kind of sort of know... What? Well, okay, I guess that wins, but... Um, why not go with the obvious move? The pawn takes c5. Yeah, now there's bishop d7. In my mind, just pawn takes c5, removing the bishop was like an instant win. Okay, that wins. I guess white just missed it. Um, okay. What's up? 109. It's playing against Rocket Babe. Um, I'm gonna wager that what's up is probably gonna fall for something. Although he's the higher rated player. So, oh, white's intending bishop, yeah, in fact, black's busted. GG. Um, I'm not sure if black was busted prior to knight c6. Like, if he played g6, maybe there was still some saving this. Um, but yeah, black is seriously busto here. Because he takes the bishop and goes to the. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, my stockfish, I think it can analyze atomic chess. Um, and part of the reason I'm trying to get my server up and running is to demonstrate to everybody that it works. And that they can try it themselves if they're skeptical about its workingness. Um, but the other part is so I just... I really want more people to test it and try it out. And actually try to beat it. Um use any resources at their disposal against AI level 8 um, without actually like attacking the machine but just um, the machine just being the server that runs all the code uh, like any legal means that don't result in like a denial of service attack or something of the like um, but uh, any means to try to win the game legitimately with any kind of assistance of your choice. I don't care. Just try to beat it. Um, come on. Let's see a move. That's not a move. Alright, we're going to switch back to the variant. So white's advancing straight down the center. And so far black is capitulating. Alright, white's gone for an all-in queenside attack. And an all-in kingside attack. Either that or he just is committed to sacking a pawn for his cause. Um, yeah, so there's knight takes d5 here. Um, now there's queen takes d4. And black's doing even better than a move ago. Uh, so now bishop takes a3? No, a3 is bad, because uh, white plays c3. Queen f6. F. Now bishop a3. It's actually still no good because g5 distracts. There's never this bishop takes a3 and queen takes a1 shot. Because white's always able to play some distracting move. But queen f6 and bishop a3 is a fun trick to try out.
also um, Black is kind of dawdling here. I don't know why he's not trying to be more aggressive. I understand why White's moving a bit slower here. Or why it's just taking him a while to advance. But Black's hesitation to develop his pieces and try to win some material seems a little strange. It's easier to win material when you have more space. Um, I guess he's just kind of waiting for White to mess up. You know, White builds a single pawn chain. You see this chain here. The chains are strong because they really control a lot of space. And they have only one weakness. Um, the rear. Okay, now there is a second weakness. There's this guy. Um, that's because uh, the that other e-pawn was lost earlier. Um, so yeah, black's broken through in the center. White resigns. I guess that's Meriden. Yeah, that d4 push didn't work out so well. Um, he built one pawn chain, but he needed a second one to really keep the queen out. You gotta love that you can write, you can draw these arrows in any which way on the board. All right, let's check out some three check chess. Oh, check number three. GG. Oh, hey, look, guys, guys, we got a working thing, Majigger, ish. Uh, unless we didn't. We got chef never successfully completed, blah 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 blah. Exit code, yada yada, whatever. Just do it again. Oops, uh, I meant to say vagrant provision. As in, keep going, keep trying to install. Don't give up just because it takes a while. Don't time out on me. For a second there, I forgot I was looking at atomic chess. And I wondered, whoa, what's this queen c1 move? Um, then I remembered it was atomic. And all was well. d4. Yep, there we go. d3. Uh, yep, there we go. Rook c6. See, it's not that hard. Rook d8. Rook d5. Okay, that's fair. Now rook d5? That's not rook d5. Now rook d5? Go for the mate. Oh, come on! Well, okay, I guess if you're that high rated, you probably understand those end games better than I do. Yeah, I think the array and in index out of bounds exception 83 is probably caused by my using the wrong database. And so that's what I'm trying to fix right now is I installed, I changed the installation script several times and I think I'm making progress, but it's hard to tell. Um, but hopefully getting the correct database installed um, will help me get past indexing errors. Uh, F3? Okay, well, I guess that's, that's good. F5, I guess? Or not? In fact, yeah, F5 loses, so King G8's better. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, that was forced. That's forced. Uh, B3? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, B3 is useless. Uh, yeah, try to activate the rook and go for mate. Go for mate, go for mate. I wonder how many people are watching this. Uh, not this stream, but this the game. And the fact that a 2400 keeps playing Atomic Games. And that's really cool. It's not every site where you can just have a 2400 just playing game after game after game um, in a variant. G3 or E4? Probably E4. Uh, this is a tricky call. Uh, Rook F, no. Uh, maybe Rook F6 is okay. I don't think so, but maybe. Yeah, I think B4 gets played here. And Bishop goes, stays where it's at because of tactics. Okay. And <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. Uh, White loses a bishop. Assuming black takes it, he might not. And for whatever reason, Black has avoided Pawn Takes Bishop. I guess there's a reason. I guess Black's Bishop isn't much better than White's, but still. If you're not going to take the Bishop, at least do Bishop Takes D3. Uh, trade Bishops and win a Pawn. And maybe you can win the Pawn Up Endgame. Although Pawn Up Endgames are just a pain to play in this game, and so... Maybe Black has something better in mind. Okay, so White's got a passed pawn on e4, or something that will soon be passed. Um, Takes pawn? Nope. Uh, e5? Why? Yeah. e5 seems kind of the only move to me. This is good that white plays it. And now e6? Yep. And next, probably rook f6. And black is just screwed. I mean, rook f6 is instantaneously convincing. This might be more accurate. But rook f6, rook takes f7, e7 just wins. Yeah, this also wins. Hey, Mr. Corrupted. Oh, there's another g4. I guess that's a signature move. Okay. Um, something failed. A thing failed somewhere. Cannot determine user ID for MongoDB. Does the user exist? No, I did not create a user. Alright, so I've got to go read up on my documentation and stuff. Um... So, create. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> 
so and the chef Jason okay okay that's cool it's cool cool homes and the chef Jason but I'm I'm using all kinds of black magic here to do deployments and stuff um, so uh, is this where I want to put it no that's not where I'm installing Mongo I don't need a config file here. Okay. Do end and stick my um, values of interest here. I guess that's how I do it. I don't know. It's all black magic anyway. Uh. Let's try that again. Kaboom! Alright, so black has claimed a lot of space. Um, white has maybe queen activity for a little while, but yeah, it looks like black has got this. Just psychologically and space wise, um, black is doing better here. It's just difficult to find good moves for white in this position. I guess material materials level, but those pawns in the center are incredibly menacing. Yeah, in many cases last game, rook f6 would have probably lost to rook takes pawn. Um, but at the very end there, where I criticized his move, even Rook takes pawn wouldn't have been enough to stop the promotion. Uh, Black's bishop could not have made it back to the east to the e8 in time to stop uh, the promotion, or to capture the promoted piece. It was just too far away. But he played an even better move. So, I mean, yeah, I criticized because there was an easy answer, but he found a slightly more complicated answer or an answer that has more pieces on the board. Um, it's a little more difficult to understand, but it's probably simpler in the long run. Alright, is this failed yet? Yeah, it failed. Okay, we'll watch the end of this game, and then go back to the coding. Discouraged that it failed again. Um, uh, H6? Kind of forced? Unless I'm missing something? Oh, H6, and somehow maybe white wins that. The queen f7. Yeah, that was a well timed queen h5. Very well timed. Um, Okay, what did I screw up? Node attributes are read-only when you don't specify which precedence levels to whatever. To set an attribute, use code like blah 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 equals value. Okay. 
Immutable attribute modification. That's quite the exception. But yeah, it's saying I did something invalid on line 15. Uh, I'm guessing it just didn't like... It disliked the fact that I didn't put something in quotes. Sure, let's put it in quotes or something. Go! Don't fail me now. Okay, that failed me. Right away. What did I mess up? Node dot default key equals value. Uh, okay. What did I not do? Oh. So... Uh, okay, so maybe I should have put that sort of stuff inside a configuration file. Uh, like this was recommending that I do. Okay, well... Let's see what happens if I put that inside a configuration file instead. Um, vim chef config.json. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's the place to put it, but I don't understand uh, what that looks like. MongoDB, port instance, blah blah blah. I do not understand. It could be added using the node. Okay, okay let's read a, this documentation about the documentation. There's nothing I uh, like more than documentation which describes other documentation. Uh, yeah, okay, so these are the various settings, but those are Mongo settings. These are um, I don't know. Good old JSON. Let's see, port node. Maybe you have to use the word port. I mean, port seems like a weird. No. Port is specific to port. DB path is specific to the database path. Um. Chase the DB path. Uh, whatever. But, yeah, the remainder of these settings have to go somehow in some configuration. I do not understand any of this. Where would I put this? I mean, I've read this. It says you can add them to the node MongoDB config setting attribute. Um, which has told me absolutely nothing. I can get a book. Why not get a book? Developer site. Can I get an example, please? For example, see usage below. This usage documentation is literally the shit. Um. 
Better usage documentation would be very nice. Let's see. Did these guys document their shit. Probably not. But uh, no, their focus is on something else. Um. So. So I gotta put these settings somewhere, but it doesn't tell me where. Kinda leaves it for me to guess everything. Which is awesome. Um, and terrifying. path, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, I'm only doing it this way because people who use the system have strongly encouraged me to do it this way. And it made it hell for me to try to do it the way that I would have preferred to do it. But, um, you know, we'll make progress. We'll get there. Yeah, I'm just going to say that recipe kind of sucks. So, how else can I install MongoDB? This one sucks. MongoDB 3 is actually good enough. MongoDB 10 gen, also good enough. Probably. Last modified March. Okay. Um, usage. There's some recipes. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. documentation's crap, so I prefer not to go with it. Um, where's the other one? I've tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. And to fall, to lose it all. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Yep, you heard me. I rhymed rat matter with matter. I could have rhymed it with hatter. Or sadder. Or fatter. Alright, so where are we? What's my name? <laughs> Whatever. Um. So, so, so. This was last updated. Well, this year. So it might work. It might not. Da, 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 da. I still have no idea where this kind of shit goes. Um... I'm just going to try a default installation with this stuff and see if it completely craps out or not. Um, so rather than read the documentation, which I know I'm going to have to read later, let's just try it. There's a bajillion options. Um, okay, so this is the recipe name. MongoDB3. Um... We're gonna try it. Mm. Vagrant destroy F. Okay. 
cleaned all that up. Uh, find, print, grip. What am I looking for? MongoDB. Uh, I did that completely wrong. I went to grep r mongodb. Search for all usages of it. And my whole whatchamadinger. Um, okay. That's not at all what I expected. Doesn't this file also mention mongodb? No. Okay. Um, does this file mention mongodb? No. Okay. Uh, so we're going to change out MongoDB for what was it now? MongoDB3. Sure, that makes sense. Um, and then got to edit my metadata file. MongoDB. You're now MongoDB3. Um, and then we gotta go into our recipe file. And I don't know if I need any of that, so we're gonna just start with this. Um, Okay. Usage. Run list. Recipe default. So what, I just have to include that? I mean, surely there's something more to it than that. Uh, that makes no sense. I still do not understand any of this stuff. Um, I don't need all the options right now. I just need something to work. And I sure as heck don't have a run list attribute. Um, so. I guess I'm just going to try it. Um, include recipe mongodb3 default. And then I need to somehow run that recipe um, with like dark magic and stuff. It's not going to install MongoDB. Alright, back to the chests. Um, okay. Am I still happy? Oh, okay. There's somebody still happy helping Mimestar. That's cool. Mimes. I don't know how you say that mime or meme or whoever, but that's pretty cool. Oh, you had no clocks on Lee Chess. Oh. I'm trying to make a pun based on clocks. Yeah, I got nothing. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, I guess we're not looking at that game anymore. As we can see, 2400 play the game. The way it's supposed to be played. C6. 
Okay, D4, and yeah, I'm seriously out of book. Is it like E6 or D6 or something here? G6? Sure. Why not? Uh, okay. I had no idea that this kind of stuff was playable for black. Uh, I guess now I know. Uh, if this is playable, it must be pretty theoretical, because... I find it surprising that Black's not lost already. Um, just, just look at all that space that White controls. And all the potential attacks that White can make. And compare that to all the potential Black attacks. I don't know what you mean by the analysis arrow bug. Certainly, I've seen analysis arrow issues, problems. I've faulted it. Uh, well, I've seen them when you're analyzing from position games, and the arrows sometimes show up and sometimes don't for what the last move was. And I said, my, how strange it is that these arrows will show up um, if the move list is considered a, a legal move list from the start of a normal chess game. And so I just put it out there that, you know, maybe these analysis arrows show up based on uh, somehow the chess board thinking of what pieces are on what squares, not necessarily matching up with what's actually on the squares. Again, I know in the last day some changes have been tested. Now, they've been developed earlier. I was going to say they've been developed in the last day, but that's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, changes have been tested, and hopefully they're going to get released soon. And I don't know if it's going to change anything, but it might. Um, so... Let me go read up some more documentation about how to install this MongoDB thing from a recipe. Uh, MongoDB3 recipe example. Ah, here's a learning chef tutorial. Whatever. I'll take what I can get at this point. And not take what I cannot get. Because... Uh, anyway. Yeah, at the moment I'm rebuilding my um, server. So it's reinstalling everything. Um... And then once it's rebuilt, I'm going to try to log in again. And, you know, eventually we're going to get it. Might take a bajillion tries, but we'll get there. Okay. anything but instructive, but it shows you can use Amazon to install um, MongoDB. I'm not going to be doing that today.
Yeah, all these examples don't in any way look like what I'm doing. Um, so I must be doing it horribly wrong. Or I must have been given bad advice by people who've been telling me around here how it is that I should be installing things. Um, So this is going to be more an exercise in RTFM than anything else. Um, how does anybody read this documentation? It's doable, but how? Apparently I need this thing called a run list, um, or I need to install a knife, or I need to do what else, or operate on Amazon Web Services, um, uh, sorry I missed all that. Um, let's see. try this. I'm going to log in. Um, from this over here. Okay. So I've got it add mongo db3 to my run list I wonder if MongoDB, well, it's not even worth bothering with at this point. All the things look pretty much the same to me. Um, I'm just going to leave it be, try it out. Let's see, how's this game going? Lights up something. Lights up a past pawn. Um, well, white's pawn is past, but I wouldn't call this a huge material advantage because he's going to have a lot of difficulty developing. Like if he get his if he could get his king to h1 and then play rook f1, he'd be good here. 
but that looks quite difficult. Oh, why that? Why not bishop e4 and then if checked, bishop f5? Why sack the bishop? Okay. Well, now bishop e4 kind of has to happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. I was going to say what's white doing, but this is actually fine. The bishop does contain the rook and avoids perpetual check. Bishop f5. And now if either of the pawns on the king side pushes, you just push the other one and lock up the king side. Um, yeah, white just needs an open file for his rook. So I guess b5 is going to get played. Uh, okay. Black is doing something strange. Yeah, that did not work so well. I expected b5 earlier, just freezing the queen side. But I guess white had some plan to win that somehow. Take it. King f6, king e4. Yep, and there's no king f2 here. If black could get his king to f2, this would be a different game. But he cannot. Alright, let's check on how's this doing. Yeah, it's installing everything, but it's gonna... Well, I'm just gonna have to rerun it when it's done. And have it provision a MongoDB instance. Um... Hopefully it'll work right. I am curious what the best possible Atomic games look like. Like, what does it look like when a 3000 Atomic player plays against a 2500? Just how badly does the 2500 get spanked? Because um, there's just so much to calculate. It's more than a person can do. It's kind of optimally suited for a computer. Normal chess is hard for a computer. Atomic chess, once you get the rules programmed correctly, the machine can calculate um, more intelligently than a human can, just because humans have difficulty with such complex stuff. Um, I mean, humans do some things really well, like image recognition, pattern recognition and such. But when you get to really discrete um, observations and really complex data models, it's, uh, unless there's some rhyme, reason, or pattern to it, people do struggle. And I think that's where a computer would shine and be an atomic. Uh, yeah, so earlier when they were asking for rules clarifications for Atomic, I submitted the rule set, which ultimately got promoted into the official Leechess code. And I said, it's very important that kings be allowed to be in contact with the opposing king. Um, because this is how it works on some other servers, and that's how it now works on Leechess. And it's a big part of Atomic endgame theory is how do you disconnect the kings um, such that you're now able to checkmate the opponent. Like if the kings are touching, the opposing king is pretty much immune to check and capture. You can't do anything to uh, a king while 
taking the king would explode both kings. <laughs> Yeah, top, there's entire web pages and PDFs and other stuff online just about Atomic Chess Endgames. It's really fun stuff. And unfortunately, there's an opening and middle game phase that have to be played first. Like, if Atomic were all endgames, I don't know that my stream would be anything other than Atomic Chess. But... Since I have to play openings and middle games first, and I'm kind of off with both of those, especially in Atomic, um, yeah, that's kind of why I don't play so much Atomic. So, 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 is this done yet? No, nope, still going. Is it done now? Are we there yet? How come it's not done? Uh, Alright, so let me get some food. That's an important bishop move there, otherwise black is toast. Um, and now black's about to return the favor with rook e3, rook f3. Or with this, or with this move. And black has a passed pawn. Ah, rook e3. Rook e3. Play it. No, that's not e3. Okay, rook g4. There we go. Rook g2. Yeah. He wins. He didn't need my help. Yeah, I would attempt to show you um, theoretical atomic end game stuff, but um, there's so much of it out there if you just use Google. And once this Stockfish engine thing will be online, you can try uh, end games against it too. Um, uh, there is a lot of theory. It's all good fun. Queen takes pawn. There we go. Apparently this is a major opening. I don't know much more about it. That's not knight c3. Hmm. Ninety seven. Oh, Knight G four is coming. That's clever.
I have to admit, I don't understand why White didn't play Bishop G8 and just win the rook. Um, cause this looks really difficult. Hmm. As long as black, oh, let's just say black should probably win that end game. Black was up two pawns. And white only had two blockaders, the king and the bishop. So, eventually that means that white's going to have to use his king to blockade a pawn. Which in turn means he's eventually going to get zugzwand. So that should have been a decisive endgame. It's a pity we didn't get to see it play out. check is my installation done yet nope it's still going oh that's checkmate I didn't hear any like checkmate noise because there is none I forgot about that. Okay, I've seen this formation before. What's white supposed to do? Ooh, I don't know about knight f5. I guess white's rated 2200, 2100 something. Um, so he probably does know about this, but I still question it. If his queen were on f5, this would be a different story. And since his queen is still lurking back on d1, I don't know about this. It seems to me like white's fishing. And black sing go fish. Something about fish. And, um, do I think atomic improves your standard chess? I would say, like, in terms of board vision, probably not. In terms of just developing discipline to actually analyze variations and look at forcing things. This game will force you to look at things. Like, you can get through a norm you can drift your way through a normal chess game, but you can't drift your way through atomic chess. You make mistakes in atomic chess, you get punished. Um, so I think that's the kind of value we add for playing this variant is that it forces you to calculate. And to be very exacting and demanding. Uh, see a queen h4? And there's no stopping an eventual checkmate. Or explosion. Now, on the other hand, I've had games, uh, at least one over the board game, where Bug House has actually helped me. Um, Oh, is this that endgame? No, it's not. This is a different endgame. <laughs> How's White gonna win this? Oh my goodness. This is tense. This is amazing. White needs to Zugzwan Black. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Rook E7. Rook E7, King C8. Rook D7, King B8. Oh, come on. Zugzwan him into the corner already. Force him to move his pawn. Yeah, here we go. 
rook e7, king c8, rook d7, and so forth. And then when the king's in the corner and six long, to push, he's forced to push his pawn and let your pawn die. That's going to be the trick here. Rook d7, king b8, rook c7, king a8, rook b7, a5 takes, d4, e4. In fact, the white king is standing on the wrong square here. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know about this. Well, it's got to play rook a7 now. He should have left his king on d2 or d1. Oh, never mind. He just promotes right away. I didn't see that the race was that close. Why not queen b6 mate? Do you really need to do this? Okay. Queen b6 mate now? Nope. Queen b7 mate? There we go. Third time's the charm. Wow, that looks pretty desolate on Black's king side. Uh, oh, at least he's got queen f6 as a defensive move. Or try. Um, so apparently Black's safe. That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, queen f6. Queen f6 if you want to live, buddy. Maybe bishop b4. Um, yeah. Aiming for bishop g6. Aiming for queen d2. Forcing a queen trade. White really doesn't have... Well, I didn't think white had a serious way out of it. This still forces a queen trade. Actually, no, it, do it doesn't. Queen takes f8 mate. Dude, black missed a... He got... Oh my goodness. Yeah, queen g3 through the game. The queen takes f8 mate. Both players missed it. I saw it. I get a gold star. Stockfish would have seen it. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that humans have difficulty with, is just paying attention to those mate in one details. Stockfish is pretty good at details. Yeah. So, just know, if a 2100 can miss things like that, there's still hope for you and me. There's still hope for humanity. Ratings don't mean everything. Still, those 2100s are pretty good. They tend to beat us most of the time. Not all the time. We still do have some hope against them. But they deserve some respect, and they should respect us too, because we can find mates in one. Uh, bishop e3. Okay, bishop e3, f6, rook h8, f7, rook h1, check. Yeah, bishop e3 would have won on the spot, I think. But now white might have some actual promotion threats and stuff, but that 
silly bishop. Although, where is it going to go? I guess I'd have to go to h6. It's really White's last try here, is just get his pieces out and try to do something. So either take a bishop on e6, or yeah, develop like that. And White still needs his bishop to cover d2 and stuff. Um, so... Yeah... White's got some problems. Ah, uh, you know what's good for sleeping? Play, I don't know, more and more and more chess. I'm sure somehow, if you play enough chess, you'll get sleepy. Actually, I don't know that. It's pretty addicting. It reminds me of the guy who just sat there playing StarCraft at his computer all day and just, like, died at his computer because he was playing too much StarCraft. I remember during the original marathon, um, the administrators of the site were saying, you know, you really should get rest between rounds. Um because uh, we don't want to have anybody die at their keyboard while the Lee Chess window is open. So... Bishop takes f5. Bishop takes f5. Uh, well, at least it seemed tempting. Actually, yeah, I guess it didn't work. So I would have lost there. Ha! Huh, there's the knight g3. What? Why would you allow e2 check? That makes no sense on any level. Unless you're thinking that somehow your king can go back to e0 and prevent the promotion from happening. <laughs> oh, Black's having some fun today. So, I don't know why he took a knight. If he had something clever, he should have played it by now. Okay. Yeah, maybe knight to f5. Just try to trade rooks and not lose material and stuff. Or, yeah, just go mate the king with the knights and the bishop. Could do rook takes rook, but you don't have to. Also possible is just knight d2 and see what happens. There's no chess like hope chess. And suddenly black is surprised that that's not checkmate. Here's a hint, black. Try promoting to a queen if you actually want to mate. I'm just saying. Queens tend to be pretty good at giving checkmate in this game. I still don't understand why you took the knight. At least he's not losing. As hard as that is to believe. Oh wait, white threatens rook takes rook and then g7, g8. Um, so black has to play bishop h4 or he loses. It's... 
Yeah, but it's curious how quickly the troller becomes um, the trolled. Because now, I mean, unless he plays Bishop H4, he's kind of in a world of hurt. And even after Bishop H4, it's not so simple because white plays G7, black plays Rook G8, and black is on the defensive for a very long time to come. So, yeah, unless he finds some kind of spectacular mate here, uh, he's kind of screwed. So, where's the mate? be a fun position to put into Stockfish to analyze, except I don't have it working. Oh, all right, let's get a real game up here, I guess. Is, you know how, like, having passed pawns is good in normal chess? Having passed pawns in atomic chess is really good. Yeah. But even after bishop h4, I still think he's in a lot of trouble. Uh, ooh, that's painful. g6. Uh, okay. Uh, B4. Are we going to see B4 here? Yeah. Uh, okay. Queen takes queen. Or queen D5. I mean, no, queen D5 might hang material. I wasn't looking. Is this done yet? Nope, still going. Kaboom! I guess the threat is queen d5. And then if black does... well, okay. okay. For some reason that that doesn't normally work. Okay, so now we move the bishop, maybe? So what's going on on Twitch? Is anybody doing any chess there? You know, other than me. Oh, there's Mario Maker. Somebody needs to make an AI that plays Mario Maker. And then just hold AI contests. Not gonna lie, I'm zoning out here until my server is done installing. So, see you, seek.
right. Who is winning this game? Um, I don't know, maybe Rook D8 followed by Knight F7 is an idea. I'm not sure what else would be done. Although Rook D8, Bishop G4 happens. Uh, it's not pleasant. That looks confusing. Again, engines can calculate this stuff like it's nothing. Um, yeah, white probably just goes for a perpetual there. Is this done yet? Nope, still going. Yeah, maybe I should just come back with the stream in a bit, because uh, apparently installing and downloading everything takes a while. big the download is. Let's see, is there any information here? Oh, it's actually downloading everything and it's just building Leech Us. Using all the computing resources in the world to build it. Um, but no, there are tons of dependencies and lots of awesome stuff in Leech Us, so... Since everything's of equal priority in terms of just building stuff, it takes a little while to build. be awesome if I could parallelize the uh, processing, but I'm not sure how to do that, so... Sure, 
Okay, so let's see, what else have people been saying here? Yeah, I know. Yeah, they have dedicated servers for AI and stuff. Um, oh, I guess it makes sense that the puzzles would have their dedicated server. I don't know how that works. Um, I've not seen anything in the configuration for a def dedicated server for anything other than AI. Um, it's my understanding that uh, databases and applications work well on the same server because databases consume the uh, disk resources and uh, applications consume the CPU resources and so there's a good balance there. But I wouldn't be surprised if some things um, got split off into their own servers. I think the insights thing the new ability to research things uh, from Leech Us is somehow broken out to its own server. Hey, sup? I'm just building myself a Leech Us instance. Um, in the most complicated way possible, apparently. But, uh, it's getting there. The hardest part I'm finding is just getting all the dependencies installed correctly. Truly the development process itself has become more streamlined over the last year or so. Um, and so it's a lot easier to tell what's working and what isn't. And code at least from my perspective, is becoming more readable, but maybe that's just me getting better at scale-up. Oh, one thing I do need, well, I, I can't do this at the moment, but um, I will need to re-enable playing a variance for Stockfish. Um, so I'll have to figure that one out. Yo, Link. Looks like it's still going. I'm just looking at a separate screen here. I'm seeing things chug, but I have no idea specifically what um, is going. One other thing I do want to develop, and again, I can't help this until um, my instance is completely working, but I would like to be able, what's it, um, to see, to have a miniature board that just follows my games, so I don't have to have a full-fledged um, browser open watching my game. And so maybe I could do two things at once somehow. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, there is a browser component, or there's a 
web page embeddable component that follows the top game on Lee Chess, but I haven't been able to use that to follow just my games, obviously. Um, I haven't found any way to configure its use just yet. I know it will be useful eventually, but right now it's... Um, can't use that component to watch my own games. Just sad. Let's see, is this done yet? Nope. You know, probably some aspects of this installation process could be, I don't know, delayed. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Like, I just want to make sure the database installed properly so I don't have to reinstall everything again. Yeah, you probably did miss it. Generally, contact checks are decisive. Unless there's an explosion the, um, by the opponent, which is even more decisive. It's really hard to get out of contact checks. Contact checks with the queen almost always lead to checkmate. Sometimes there are ways to explode adjacent to the queen, but not adjacent to the king, but um, usually when that's possible, it's just because the attacker's not paying attention. Rook f6. Rook f6. Well, that's not it. There we go. Rook d6. Yep, GG. Although, Black was out of time anyway. A castle. It's a good defensive move. E2. Man, that's complicated. The idea is work D1. Okay, King C7? King B8? Sure. Why not? Um, The idea is still rook d1, or rook d2. <laughs> why not rook d5? Oh, because bishop takes c6. That's why not. I see it now. Rook d4? Why would you not instantly play rook d4? Is there something wrong with the move? I see nothing wrong. What? No. Bad. Don't do that. Okay, so now you kind of have to move the bishop a6 just so you can be able to move your pawn a7. Um, yep, and then bishop c7. Bishop C7. Just move it. Come on. You can do it. Actually, Bishop F6 is better. Because if the rook moves away, then you can promote and not lose your bishop. 
There we go. GG. GG. Just checking. And now you're up to rooks with pretty decent winning chances. She takes pawn. There we go. And then g5, g6, g7. Just push all your pawns, get your rooks out, checkmate them somehow. Doesn't matter how, just somehow do it. Alright, uh, comments. Bishop to b8, yeah. Bishop to b8 would force black to move his pawn. Um, certainly would have been a different game. King A, King B2, King A1, and now Black has to move, like, well, he's far too late in this race. But yeah, King B7, just make a mad dash for B2. It's the only try, but... Uh, it requires white to play a couple good moves. Um, just promote and then separate the kings. Alright, is it done yet? No, it's still going. Still compiling. Why does it take so long to compile all of Leeches? It's actually not compiling all of it, it's just compiling the main project now. Which actually is comparatively small compared to everything else. But uh, the other things they had to be compiled are mostly just images and assets and I don't know what else, but um, a lot of static content. A lot that doesn't get built until the UI phase is generated, which is after the main build. Okay, uh, Bishop F2 is in the air. Uh, not so easy to stop now, is it? I guess knight b5 is playable. <laughs> what the hell? Why would you push f3? Um, now white can't develop any of his pieces. I mean, black could have taken on g1. But his bishop on f2 is just really strong here. Okay, this game has just gone from weird to really weird. To uh, black just lost. Because he was screwing around. Um, that's funny. Totally earned that loss. Just because he was playing perfectionistically. Alright. Bishop d6. Bishop d6. Well, I guess e3 is fine. Yep. See how black left all these holes in this position? And white just moving his pieces in like it is Swiss cheese. It really is. Alright, is it is it done yet? It might be done. It failed! No I have the wrong Java. All hope is lost. 
Gloom, doom, and despair. Damn it. Got the wrong Java. How did I get the wrong Java anyway? Uh, 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 how did I mess this up? I don't understand how I got the wrong Java. So, I'm going to try that over here. Um, grip, dash R, Java star. I'll just keep banging on this over here. We can still hang out and stuff. Um, I just don't understand. How could I have messed that up? going to start over once more, although this time uh, I'm going to do it without installing LeechS. Just install everything else. Um, Destroy. Pew pew pew, it's all going gone kaboom. Yeah, I forgot to uh, use my Java update notifier. Yeah, software development's a tricky thing. Especially when I'm using tools I've never used before. Mainly because um, people I'm um, doing other projects with are very heavily invested in using these tools. And I keep banging my head against the wall telling them, you know, this might not be a good idea, but they keep going back to this saying, oh no, this makes everything easy, so... Um, doing things the hard way and not letting that stop me from actually being successful somehow. Uh, so D5? Oh, okay. Yeah, you get a pass pawn this way. You also get mated, so that might not have been the way to go. Uh, D5 here? No, you're just screwed. 
Yeah, Rook F6 is not good. Just kidding. Uh, Rook C8 is okay. Okay, I guess dropping a Rook on G3 is fine. And now, unless Black can get his king next to White's king, this is over. Anything is possible with the right amount of time and budget. So I'm not going to say that it's impossible, but um, it's probably not a high priority just given what a nightmare it would be to do in terms of coding. But with the right time and budget and effort, yeah, it could be done. I just don't foresee it happening anytime soon. I'd like to see the one board version of that, just a crazy house. Start there, get that working. And then once you have crazy house, then maybe start talking about bug house. But even crazy house presents its uh, set of problems. Because, I mean, how would you drop the pieces onto the board? How would you propose doing that here? Web interfaces aren't exactly good for drag and drop. So you'd have to have a way of uh, indicating I'm going to drop a piece onto a square. And a way of keeping track of which pieces have been taken and are eligible to be dropped. You have to deal with pawn promotion, and when you capture the piece, it goes back to being a pawn. I mean, there's, yeah, there are ways to do Crazy House. I'm just saying it's quite a stretch beyond what's already here. And similarly, Bug House is theoretically doable. There's nothing technology-wise that pre prevents Bug House from happening. It's just, it's a big change. And big changes take a lot of time. But I think Crazy House is more attainable than Bug House. Um, just, it, it's a more reasonable goal to shoot for. Uh, if they wanted to, they could start going on that. The other thing is, what do you do about cheaters? I mean, in bug house cheating isn't such a big, isn't such a common occurrence. Although bug house bots are respectably okay at the game, um, and it's not hard to imagine somebody making a bug house bot that's actually strong. And then what do you do about the whole potential for cheats? I don't know. Uh, I have added the AI. So I've done the variant AI for um, for King of the Hill and for three check chess. And other than that, I've mostly just convinced my opinion about... Um, uh, well, I did provide my opinion about what rules to apply um, in Atomic Chess. And we just... Um, well, I worked directly with the developer there and uh, we coded pretty much to the spec that I was describing. And um, then when Horde Chess came out and was seemed to be imbalanced, I made two suggestions about how to balance it. One was um, make the Horde the white pieces. Two was give white a couple more pawns. Um, or I'm sorry, two was let white uh, move pawns t uh, two spaces from either of the first two ranks. 
just to try to even it out. And Lee just took both of those suggestions because they were both really easy, and incidentally, they that pretty much balanced the game perfectly. So, yeah, in terms of actual coding, I just do the AI stuff. Um, well, no, just not not the AI stuff. I do specifically Stockfish. Other AI stuff is done by Lee Chess at the moment. I'm always looking to try to expand um, what Stockfish does for the site. Although, more and more I'm learning stuff about Scala and being able to run <clears throat> um, what it takes to get a Leechus instance up and running. Okay, it looks like it's trying to install MongoDB or something. And it looks like it's doing MongoDB 3. That's cool. Oh wow, 1500 is not bad. I assure you, 1500 is pretty good for somebody who just started. Um, or started from scratch. Um, yeah, Stockfish, it takes a lot of time and discipline to work on that. Uh, really, my original motivation was just get King of the Hill Stockfish going. Because I'm like, it, it's the simplest modification ever, presumably. How do you get Stockfish to just do King of the Hill chess? Well, you just tell it that King of the Hill wins the game, and it's worth a bajillion points, score-wise, and you just say, you know, Stockfish, you can handle the rest, but I'll point out all the blunders that we're making. And it was just awesome, because um, now we have people around the world who are doing analyses on their games and figuring out what their mistakes were. And... Another developer was so impressed by this that he said, you know what, I'm going to contribute some three check code. And he did contribute some three check code, and I accepted it and spent the next two months debugging what the hell it did. And fixed all the bugs that were in the code that he copied and ported from somebody else's code into the code that we were, I was working with. Um, finally fixed all the search bugs. It was total mess and a nightmare, but um, we got three check chests going. Um, yeah, alpha beta pruning's good. No kidding. No kidding. Um, actually, for King of the Hill, I mean... I didn't even modify any piece table values. It was really primitive. I just started with saying, you know, king to the center wins. And I've tried doing all kinds of things to change the evaluation function, but it's really the search that um, played an instrumental role. Yeah, all I need to do is change how the search works. I tried all kinds of bonuses and penalties and uh, really almost nothing I tried worked. Which is hilarious in one way and kind of discouraging in another. It just says like just how difficult it is to make changes that do useful things. Well, White's got to play Knight Takes Knight. Oh, but that loses too. White screw. <laughs> How does White mess up that bad? Alright, take the Knight. Pawn takes, right? 
Yeah, I'm just saying, the, yeah. I did change the algorithm so it recognizes that king to the center is the same as checkmate. Um, there were some bugs that I had to work out with that, but it was nothing serious. Three check was a lot more involved. Um, horde chess was not so bad. Well, no. There were a lot of index out of bounds issues and weird things I had to figure out to get uh, that variant going. And Atomic, um, getting the pieces to move legally and validate piece moves was a complete mess. Um, ah, how much experience did I have with Scala and the play framework? Honestly, I had no experience with it. Um, and uh, I'll say I've spent forever and a half getting um, a working Lee Chess server working in my place. Um, so Lee Chess might not be the place to start learning Scala. Uh, there are definitely other projects that would be better candidates uh, for these kinds of things. Um, I'm really unsure how developers could contribute unless they have uh, pretty heavy skills in uh, the appropriate languages and frameworks and such. Right, yeah, I... I'm just working on background processes. I have no idea how the site itself works. That's why this past weekend and um, yesterday and tonight I'm just streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming uh, all my attempts to try to get this up and running. And even right now it's still compiling stuff and installing and reinstalling and um, I'm definitely learning some Scala, but I'm learning it the hard way. And I've changed maybe two lines of code. Um, yeah, actually two. And pretty much every other change I've made, I've managed to mess up one way or another. Uh, yeah, I've made my own chess engine. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what its rating used to be. It used to play on Fix. I think it was rated 1700 or so. Oh, but I did get it to play anti-chess, which is kind of fun. I'm trying to remember what other variants I taught it. Um... I think that was pretty much it. Just normal chess and anti-chess. Oh, That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, it would be awesome, in my opinion. Uh, in fact, I filed a bug report a report or request an issue on on the official uh, project GitHub page. Filed a bug saying that these rating graphs they should show rating deviation. I even showed an example of like how you could show overlapping visualizations that whatever. Um, but nobody's motivated to work on that. And ultimately, um, my change request, or I'm sorry, not my change request, but my bug report was closed saying, yeah, no. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much rejecting my idea that um, that rating graph needs to show rating deviation. Uh, they just said it would clutter the graph too much. I guess they're welcome to do that, but... At some point, 
I'm going to have to loop back and just uh, code the rating deviation thing in there myself. Um, and show them that it looks awesome and that they should totally do it. But it's kind of hard to convince them, especially because they're doing so many other cool things. Geez, it's taking forever to download this MongoDB stuff. But at least it's getting version 3.0.7. But most importantly, the 3.0 part. So that means that I'm not going to have Mongo version 1.4, some nonsense. I'm going to have something that um, should work with uh, Leeches, which is good. It's very good. Five, Queen E7 next. GG. If Black made too many holes in his position. Wait, is E6 any good? I don't remember E6. Okay, I have really no idea what's going on. I suppose if Knight G5, F5. Or maybe f6, but yeah, f5. And then if knight f7, the queen moves to h4 and gg. Yeah, I've seen this before. Good old opening traps. I just know enough so that I shouldn't lose too badly out of the opening. I'm going to have to try some of those traps for myself, though. I got another error message. Alright, what's my error this time? Uh, what major features they are planning now? Uh, they're planning everything that's shown on their GitHub page. Um, so, their plan is everything that's found over here. Anything in that list is part of the plan. So they have 231 things that are part of their plan. Um, what major features? Uh, I don't know which ones are major or minor. Obviously, insights is a big thing. I think any other stuff on there. I mean, everything's a big thing, I think. Unless. Um, uh, I don't even know. It's hard to keep track of it all. Okay, so what was my error message? Why did my MongoDB fail? Oh, timeout. Screw that. Try it again. Just be 
because there are a lot of files to transfer doesn't mean you have a right to time out, you silly, silly computer. Okay, so... Um, Let's see, seven. Oh no, no, you have to take the night. <laughs> oh, it's painful to watch uh, opponents of this guy just get crushed. Yeah, just do King G8. I'm sure that'll work just fine. Man, black is hesitating. Actually, I've played d5 quite a bit. I want to know is it any good or bad. Um, I assume that c6 is playable here. And b5 seems fine too. Uh, I don't understand that. Why not just take. Okay. The pawn takes pawn the other way and white wins a knight? Maybe? I don't know. I'm very confused. Now, Stockfish will clear up some of these things once we get it up and running and testing stuff. But, uh, in the interim, I'm very confused about everything. So, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Come on, just install all the things. Uh, Come on, you can do it. I guess Game of Thrones Season 6 is coming up. That's cool. Oh, I've been playing chess since it was invented, and I've got an official rating of, well, not, you know, I've got a USCF rating over 1900. It's been a while since I've played over the board tournament chess, but, um, Yeah, I've been playing it since it was invented thousands of years ago. Just to give you an idea of how much experience I have. Um, I don't know that how long you've been playing 
is relevant beyond some certain point. Uh, if you've played in tournaments and you've got an official rating and it's gotten up to some number, it doesn't matter how many years it took you to get there. It might matter how many games you've played and how much training you've done and who you've played with and have you had any opportunity to learn before going into the event, but actual number of years spent doing something is kind of moot at that point. Queen F1. Yeah, that's not Queen F1, buddy. Queen F1 or Queen E2. Um... And GG. It's amazing that Black screwed that up. Either he's drunk, or just like spinning on a chair, or... I don't know. Just not paying any attention to allow that kind of uh, defeat so early in the game. F3. Knight C7 next. Hmm. Well, I guess there is no Knight C7 until that Queen stops making me threats. And now things turn out not to be in Black's favor. Though, perhaps he'll get into an endgame. Perhaps for once, we'll get to see an atomic chess endgame. Or not. Alright, so... I'm just going to verify that... Uh, this Mongo installs correctly. I've got the right version in the database. Um, I honestly don't know why it's taking so long to download. Oh, I have a guess. It's probably my damn ISP. Let's try this out. Are they throttling me? Yeah, that's not what they promised. Not even close. At least my upload speed's good. But yeah, they throttle me to remind me um, just who's in charge here. That's not cool. Um, well, let me make sure that I paid my bill and stuff. Anybody log into Comcast for reasons other than paying their bill? I'm just wondering, does anybody actually use their ghetto site? Yeah, they keep telling me that my auto pay never works. Many times I fill in my auto pay, they just never accept it. So, whatever. 
it's all paid up now. And I'm sure that within an hour, if not sooner, my internet traffic speed will be much faster. I mean, in a way, it is convenient that um, they throttle you to make you check that you might not have paid your stuff, just in case you, they're... I don't know. But the fact that their site sucks and auto pay doesn't work is kind of a problem. my box and Mongo DB version Mongo version 3.0.7 Mongo DB dot version 3.0.7 Hooray um so now, I will, um, now I will tell it to install Leechus. Uh, one second. Gotta turn off my mic and return a call here. Uh, how do I even turn off the mic without uh, ruining this all? Um.
Sorry about that. I was on a phone call that just never ends. It just kept going and going, and it didn't end. And then it went some more. So, let's see. Has everybody left yet? No, not everybody. Just most everybody. Um, is this done installing yet? No, of course not. Why would it be done? <laughs> yeah, very funny. Um... It's just building everything. There's just a crap ton of things to be built. Um, I know it's going to time out. I know I'm going to have to tell it to continue building. Yeah, the, the bill's paid. All is well and good. Okay, who's winning this one? I'm tempted to say Black is winning this. Unless this king gets opened up all of a sudden, which it probably will. Uh, so F6? Do I hear an F6? I don't. Yeah, that doesn't work, buddy. Or does it? Oh. Wow. I missed pawn takes f7. Yep. Very clever. Very cute. Very clever. I'm just tired. I'm a little exhausted. Whatever. So I'm overlooking these awesome tactics. That was a good combination. Um, yeah. Off screen, I've got. Well, off that screen, I've got um, uh, the simple tool, simple build tool, SBT. It's compiling everything. It's taken however long it's going to take to compile. Um, and how nice it would be to be able to install Leechess without requiring. I don't know, chess pieces. And then have it add all the chess pieces later. Oh, how nice that would be. For the kind of nonsense I'm trying to do. Um, I don't need all the 2D and all the 3D pieces and stuff. I just need something to go. Um, but, beggars cannot be choosers. I mean, it's been said often, but some people don't get the point. Okay, so what else is new in the world? Yeah, that's not the phone call. That kind of phone call is manageable. ISPs do have uh, quite the monopoly, though. So let's see, what's this Scrabble Ground thing? Wouldn't it be awesome to get... Oh, that's fancy. Um, what's this Lee Scrabble? I'd like to see it work. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, apparently, oh, this is JavaScript. I was going to ask why the heck he's defining columns equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, 
then I saw that this is JavaScript rather than Ruby or some language that doesn't require dumb stuff like that. Um, okay. So, what's new? What's new with this? 214, 10, 1105. Oh. Okay. What in the world is Happio up to? Uh, so he's got Lee Scrabble and Scala Scrabble. on what he's up to. Uh, and what's this scale of Scrabble thing? Uh, is he even working on it? Scrabble API written in Scala. It's functional, immutable, and free of side effects. happyo.co.uk uh, Oh, no, I'm just looking at um, things that are on GitHub. Because my code is still compiling. Um, by my code, I mean not my code. I mean leeches is still compiling. Okie dokie. It's a bummer, it just takes forever to compile. Oh, I don't need the install instruction, or the uh, Mongo3 recipe up anymore, because it's installed now. Um, yeah. I could show you the green screen of everything compiling. It's not really that impressive visually. tempted to open up another session just to see how well things are going. Let me uh, view progress of how this is going because uh, there's only so much I can fit on one screen at a time and this chessboard here isn't moving anyway so let's see where we're at. Clear, uh, top yeah, so this is what's going on on the system. It's doing a lot of compilation. Look at all that compilation. I'm rendering this in, what, 720p for your viewing benefit? Or is it higher resolution than that? I don't remember. I think it's one step higher than 720p. I don't remember what that even is, but um, yeah, you're now watching uh, the Linux top process configured to uh, refresh once per second. I can configure it to run faster than that. I can drop it to... there we go. Every tenth of a second now it refreshes exactly how much CPU is being spent. And you can look at the top and see how much memory is being um, consumed and stuff. Um, this is probably more fun than watching the console, which does not move at all. But yeah, when that number 
that number of process 13480, when that CPU percentage drops to somewhere near zero, then we're done. Uh, the top one's the compiler. The top one's a virtual environment that's um, doing all the compilation. And you can see here that it's been going for um, about 12 minutes. It says 48 minutes, but that's really the number of CPUs um, times time. So the actual wall time, the, um, the wall clock time, I guess is what you'd be calling it. Uh, it's around 12 to 13 minutes that it's been compiling at this point. Yeah, I'm running VirtualBox. Okay. Spiffy. Um, I will point out that I think once that... Um, once we've hit 15 minutes of compilation, I think it's going to bail out and say, oh, I give up. And then I have to tell it, no, don't give up, try again. Um, so, I guess that means that a few minutes from now, that's going to drop to zero, and I'm going to see a big error message in my log saying, oh, couldn't install, it's just taking forever. Um, and, yep, yeah, I'll deal with that when it happens. I assure you, this is more interesting than um, looking at the log file or the console. It just says it's executing. It doesn't really say anything beyond that. It's kind of hard to believe, given how much it's doing, but um, you think that if you're burning four CPUs at a time, you would imagine that, gosh, there would be something worth logging. But no, my console has no such information. So that's fun. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. It's installing Stockfish and testing Stockfish right now. Just from the unit test. Um, again, that's all running in the virtual environment. Come on, it doesn't take that long to test. Or to compile, for that matter. Okay, well that's a lot closer to zero. That hopefully means it's doing a lot of file input and output. Trying to just download stuff, I assume. I don't know why, but there must be some purpose to it, or it wouldn't have been done. Yeah, Windows takes a day to compile and a lifetime to work out all the bugs. But no, that's because Windows users have high expectations.
Okay, seriously, why is it taking so long for the stockfish thing? Yeah. I'm just surprised that everything has to be all built at once. And that there isn't some way to say, you know, maybe I don't need some of these modules. And maybe I could run it and then later plug in various things as I need them. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of having sub-modules, is that there you could manage those dependencies, but... Um, if there's only one build configuration and just can includes everything. All right, thirty nine minutes two seconds. I'm willing to bet. Um, I'm willing to bet that something's still missing here. Uh, Yep, as I suspected, user profiles were not set properly. Uh, so let me go obtain the things that should have been set. And manually put them into the deployed instance. down here and I remember that copy paste buffers are different across uh, host and guest operating systems so let me make sure I just get things in my clipboard of this um, browser or uh, things that should have been set. Uh, there we go. And make sure I'm not messing up anything serious here. So we got Java Ops and SPT Ops for Java and Scala build tool respectively, or simple build tool. Um, and well, let me do one quick sanity check just for something I don't feel like showing on the stream. Um, does my configuration file have Yes, it's got my key in there. It's got everything set up. So, at this point, now we cross our fingers. Um, I am using Ubuntu as my host OS. Uh, Alright, so, they grant SSH. And change user to Leela. See Leela. Run the sucker. Um, and once that says server started, then I'll navigate to my browser and actually try to test it out. Um,
Oh, server started. Alright. I'm going to try it out again. And gradually I'm becoming more and more cavalier with just exposing my name here. So, um, put that in the address bar, which is clearly visible on the stream, but really there's nothing I can do about that anyway. Um, let's see how this goes. Theoretically, this should direct me to a fully functional Leechess instance. Um, we'll see if theory holds true in practice. Okay, I can see that a lot of compilation just happened. Um, now I've got to enter my username and password, because that's what I want to do here. Doing so, I will temporarily um, uh, just block out the screen. Uh, and we'll be back here in just a second. Sign in. Username. Password. Invalid username or password. Oh, right, I have to register. Um, so we're going to try that out, and try that out, and verify that I'm not a robot, identify all the cacti, and the captcha. Apparently I missed one. Find things with palm trees. There's a palm tree. Uh, that kind of looks like a tree. Sure, why not? All right, now I got the word scheme. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Um, P C S N da 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 da. da cannot invoke the action. You know what this means, guys. This means we go back here, look at, yep, there it is, cannot invoke the action, check mongo-version. That needs to be at least 2611. I swear. Um, I thought I had verified that I'm running mongo version 3. Am I not? Mongo version 307. Okay. Uh, so. So, so, so. I'm definitely using a new enough version. Um, at least on my system I am. I don't know. Do I have more than one? No, it's... Okay. Yeah, I... What am I doing wrong? How am I using the wrong Mongo or something to that nature? I, I Yeah, I realize I, I might need a 2.x version. I'm just... Uh, a 2.x wasn't one of the options available with the script that I'm using, and uh, people who want me to use this machine say I should do everything with scripts, uh, so you either got to find a way to make it accessible or make this work with 3 or whatever, but probably go re regress to 2, but it, I'm just stunned that um, of the lack of backward compatibility. I mean, I just took it for granted that this would probably work. Uh, and clearly it doesn't. Um, that's funny, because uh, this Lee chest has been tested um, 
with Mon the latest release of Mongo, the latest 2.x release of Mongo. Um, has not yet been tested for 3, at least to my knowledge. But I mean, Mongo 4 is under development, 3 is the current release, 2 is falling its way out of support at the moment. Uh, well, no, it's not. It's still supported. It's, 2 has been around since 2011. Um, well, 4 is not under development, 3.2 is under development. Okay. Anyhow. Um. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're right. I just need to switch to a 2.x version. I mean, I'm doing everything I can to try to abide by what other people using this machine want me to do, but um, it's becoming not feasible at this point to follow any of their recommendations. And trying to have some compromise or middle ground with them and show them, yes, I'm open to using technologies that work, but the way they want me to do this uh, to use this machine, it just doesn't work at all. Uh, so, uh, so what do I do? How do I get this to work at this point? Um, Obviously I need a 2.x. It's a jointly owned machine between me and some family members. Um, damn it. Uh, I used to have my own separate machine and they petitioned against me doing that and they are just relentless, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, I'm sure that I open-minded, and I am learning some things in the process, but this is possibly one of the most painful, unguided experiences one could go through doing this sort of thing. Um... So I need to figure out how is it that I can obtain using their provisioner a correct instance of Mongo without doing my own thing and completely flying in the face and being some uncooperative person. Ah, <laughs> uh, yay, yay. I don't know. I'll just keep looking through my options and maybe I'll find something. I wonder if this MongoDB3 plugin is capable of installing MongoDB2. Uh, or this recipe, rather. I think so. Um, This is interesting. No, so the MongoDB3 recipe is only for versions of 3. Uh, so, what are my other options? <laughs> uh, 
Um, we'll do it live. We will do it live. I need to search Google and see what I can find. Yeah. Yeah. Getting started documentation is quite trouble. Um. The exception to the rule is when um, when somebody is trying to document something with the aim of impressing a large audience. Then it's worth uh, their time to actually ensure that documentation is up to date and such. Six eleven or two six ten. Either one's probably fine. I understand that eleven is containing new features and ten is a bug fix release, or at least that they're um, what they normally do is that even numbered. Oh, I'm sorry, that that pertains to um, the. So there's three ordinals. The first is the major version, the second is the minor version, and the third is whatever, I guess, release of that minor version. But yeah, as long as I'm dealing with a 2.6 or 2.4 or 2.2, one of them that ends in an even number prior, or as the second or the minor version, then I'm okay. Um, so yeah, 2.6.11 should be just fine. I found this thing called MongoDB Cookbook. Uh, does this have documentation? A single instance, replication chart. Oh, this is the thing I was looking at earlier. So there's a MongoDB package version. Um, what does this refer to? At least their activity on GitHub indicates that there's all kinds of things that they're fixing or whatever. Um, okay. This, well, we're going to try 
uh, as is suggested here. Um, it's unfortunate. I'm learning also about just some of the peculiarities of MongoDB. And I guess it's not that peculiar, but I just found it such. But it's picky. Um, grep R. MongoDB stuff. Wow, that's a lot. That's because I'm in the wrong place. Um, still in the wrong place. Grep dash R. MongoDB stuff. That's a lot of output. Let me clear the screen and do this again. Um, and now... Um, Vim Vagrant file. Okay, so we're going to use MongoDB. But prior to that, um, we're going to use um, a provider that gets us the actual release. Which is, I mean, it's ridiculous that I have to do that, but I guess that's when you have so many collaborators on a project, crazy stuff like that happens. Um, so I need to not only do that, but also add the appropriate include statements for including these things, uh, I think. Um, nope. Okay. So need to include recipe default, but prior to that also include 10 gen repo. Um, I need, what else? Uh, Vim, Chef, Cookbooks, Leech Us, Metadata RB, we need just MongoDB. Um, this should also say MongoDB. And now I need to ensure that I'm... Well, I've got everything included, imported, and whatnot correctly, I think, at this point. It is worth an additional try. Um, Let me see if there's anything I can do in Vagrant file. Well, these are just chef settings, though. Like, I can't set node attributes in here. Um... Okie dokie. Okay, so I've got to set up, got to call this thing called MongoDB instance. Um, let's call it up here. MongoDB instance. Uh, does it have any arguments? Oh, I have to give it a name. Yeah, whatever. And that's pretty much all I can specify there. OK. 
Okay, well, have I missed anything? Probably not. Oh, you want to learn programming. Um, talk with people. Um, either that or set some goals for yourself. Um, but yeah, talking with people is probably going to get you farther than anything I can sum up here. A lot of people have urges to learn programming. I'll never understand why, but uh, they do. Um, and really, in my mind, software development is about much more than programming. Um, okay. Well. Since I changed a lot of really fundamental things here, I'm going to try this again. Unfortunately, that means I'm doing this all over from the beginning. Um, but we'll get there. I just need to be patient. Um, so it is getting rather late. I don't feel like sitting at this desk all day to finish this, so, um, I will conclude the rest of this to the best I can offline tonight. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry if this hasn't been too un too enlightening, but hopefully at least it brings to light the fact that I'm just constantly working on this and thrashing and making progress, but... Um, it, it's just a difficult process, and I'm going to get there, we'll get this done, and then I'll get to be able to do my AI development and testing with other people. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully next stream will be more entertaining. If not, thanks either way for uh, coming by, and I uh, hope to see you around sometime. Good night.